there friends, welcome back to another awesome edition of Tinkercad Training. I'm going to bust out Scribble again and this time I want to make a Scribble Copter. So, let's get cracking. Alrighty, so let's begin by naming our project Copter. And then I'm going to put my initials after it just so I can help keep track of all of my projects. And like I said, this is going to be an amazing Scribble Copter. So bring out Scribble and then pick what the front of your copter is going to look like. I'm going to draw mine like this so it's the classic rounded one. But then I'm also going to give it a pretty decent flat edge. When you click done, it shows up in Tinkercad and you've got the start of a copter. I'm going to click the corner so I can see this rotation. I'm going to stay close to the shape so I use the tick marks. And I'm going to line it up like that. I'm going to press the letter D so it drops right to the main work plane. And I'm going to make it a little wider. I am looking at my numbers so that way it's easier to keep things so they match. 30 looks a little too big. I'm going to switch it to 25 and see if I like that. That is going to be the body of my copter. Let's cut out a windshield with the box or whatever tool you pick. I like the size of this box already. I'm going to just select both pieces by dragging and touching them both. And then I want to center it. I'm going to start by just doing center in this direction. And then when I take a look at it from the side, I can raise my windshield up to where I want. If I want to change the height, a smarter trick is to go high and then low. And then you can group those to cut out your windshield. Let's add the landing gear to our helicopter once again using Scribble. I wanted to have that classic front sweep and then come back. And then I'm going to put the connectors so that it connects to my chopper. If you ever don't like what you did, you can just erase a little piece of it. You can also just do undo. I'm doing this just for fun, so I'm not too worried about perfection. But you can work on making yours as perfect as you'd like. When I hit done, I'm going to shrink these down to size 3. Once again, I'm going to switch to a corner view because that lets me see this rotation handle a little easier. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. And then I'm going to give this a little bit of a classy uh, adjustment so that it's 15. Just because I like the idea of it sloping in to the helicopter. I'm going to do D for drop so it drops to ground level. And then I want to cut it flat. To do that, first I'm going to hide the main helicopter. I'm going to pull this cube all the way to the front and I'm going to make it one millimeter thick. What this is going to do is it's going to slice my landing gear so it's flat. And I can see that I'm going to miss the corner, so I'm going to make that 1.5 by just typing. And then I'm going to hit D for drop so that it moves up to ground level. Now when I group this, that'll be sliced nice and flat. I can do Control D to make a second one. And I'm going to use the amazing flip tool to flip it on this direction so that I've got two sets of sweet landing gear. I'm going to place those by hitting the light bulb to bring them all back. I'm going to click the one that goes to this side and move it over. And then I want that the exact opposite. I'm just using the arrow keys to nudge them into place. When I've got those where I want, I'm going to hold down shift and select them both. And I'm going to group them so they're one piece. I'm going to pick a cool color for them. I'm going to make them gray. I'm going to make the shape of my copter red. And then I'm going to align those both right here so they're centered. And then I can simply use the arrow keys to pull that into place. Click on the body of my helicopter and let's raise it up in the air. That's looking pretty sweet. I'm going to call those parts permanent, so I'm going to select them both. Notice it says two shapes and let's group them. Once you group it, it switches out of multicolor mode and we want to put that back because it does look a little cooler as we're having fun building this sweet helicopter. 
Let's add the tail section to our helicopter, once again using Scribble. I'm going to draw a filled in shape this time. I'm going to start by just coming out here and making it so that it's a filled in wedge. I want to make it a little thicker up front, so I'm just going to raise it up and connect it like that. I'm going to switch back to the pencil, and I want this little piece right here to be filled in. And I'm going to call that my tail section. I think I'm going to round this just a hair, though. When I hit done, I'm going to pick the width of my tail section. I'm going to go down to size 3. Once again, I'm doing that corner view so I can find this little rotation handle. Staying close to the shape so I can snap easily to that 90. I'm going to pull it up so that it's the right height to attach to my vehicle. And then I'm going to grab everything and I want to center it on that button. It's easier to see from the top, so I'm going to click that and boom, it is centered. I'm going to use the arrow keys to nudge it back so it's outside the vehicle. One nice thing about these is we can stretch and adjust them so you can make it look however you want. If you don't like what you did, you can double click and you can change it. So I'm going to actually erase this just a little bit and just erase a little of that bottom just because I can. It doesn't change much, but hey, I wanted to, so therefore I did. I'm going to make this the black color. I'm going to rotate it a little bit. Now this time, instead of staying close, I'm moving away so I can just change little bits of the rotation. And now comes the amazing part. We group those, and let's build some sweet propellers. And we're going to do that using an amazing tool in the all shapes. If you move down to number three, there is a cool thing called the Pro Gear. When you set the Pro Gear down, it has got a tooth base height that you can stretch out and make nice and long. You can change the number of teeth. I'm going to make mine five, and I found it easier to just type them. And then once you've got that set, you can ignore these numbers again and you can go over here and adjust it however you want so I want my blades to be one thick and then I'm gonna hold down shift and I'm gonna stretch it so that my blades spread out to the size that would fit in my copter I'm gonna change the color of these little fellas to white you could fiddle with a lot of cool things here like bevel and helical angle this one is nuts um, I'm going to just see if I put that at 2. But you can really make incredibly wild helical shapes. So I'm going to just pull this into place. Because of the fancy shape, uh, it is hard to center this on the object. So I'm just going to get it so it looks good to me. I'm going to leave a little bit of gap because I'll put a connector in in a moment. Uh, when I scaled it, it changed the height. So I'm going to go back to that size 1. Before we go any further, I'm going to add a tail stabilizer as well and we're going to use that same pro gear when you bring this one out change it however you want I'm gonna go with uh, four teeth I'm gonna make that height different this time I'm gonna go to the right view or one of these side views so I can stand it up like this and then I can just move it into place the same as I did the other and lift it up to where it's supposed to be. And then I can take a look at it and do that shift trick where I shrink it in every direction till I'm happy. And I don't really care which side I put it on. Maybe I want to put two of them. But I can just nudge it into place till I'm happy. I think I am going to do control D and put one on each side just because I think that looks pretty cool. And Let's see if I can rotate it around itself so that they're in different uh, rotation areas. Pretty neat. Let's go back to that main page and I'm going to add a cylinder off the basic shapes to connect my 
uh, rotor to my helicopter. I'm going to hold down shift and make this skinny by the eyes to where I want it. And I'm going to just lift it up. And remember, we can't really uh, use the center trick on these because the blade is kind of fancy. We can center it left and right, though. So I'm going to hold shift on the body, shift on that. Let's zoom out so we can see that. And boom. So that's in the center. And now it's just a matter of me nudging it to where I want so that it's connected to the center of my prop. I like that. Make sure it's not poking through underneath. I'm going to get it to the right size. And boom, my helicopter has been created. So there's all kinds of room for you to add sides, maybe add cool rocket launchers, add all kinds of exciting things. As you play with it, friends, I hope you're learning a lot of awesome skills and getting better at creating with Tinkercad. Friends, if you make something incredible, please take time to share it with us. Shoot a screenshot at Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter at HLModTech. If you enjoyed the movie, please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hammer that subscribe button. And if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HMI Tech, smash that notification bell. Got a question or a comment? Add it down below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, friends, and keep tinkering.